More than enough. Good evening. Uh, I, I had a case of generation shock um, when I when I saw the movie Grease a while back, and I expect maybe some of you did too. Uh, our Miss Brooks had been promoted to principal of the school, and if you're around my age, uh, you you know exactly what I mean. So one of the vintage radio and television comedies of the 40s and 50s was Our Miss Brooks, starring that classy and funny actress Eve Arden, who also played the uh, principal in Grease, and. Uh, from her early movies, she can do more than Miss Brooks, like A Day at the Circus with the Marx Brothers, The Stage Door, uh, Mildred Pierce, um, through Broadway and TV and even nightclubs. Uh, Eve Arden has mastered a whole variety of roles. She and, and her husband, Brooks West, uh, now do a lot of stage work, and in fact, they'll be touring uh, with Donald O'Connor this summer in Little Me. But the uh, Miss Brooks type, resilient and long-suffering and uh, with a caustic uh, cut them down to size wit, is the one we associate with her. Certainly nobody does it better than she does, and I, I hope she doesn't <laughs> use too much of it on me tonight. I've already been cut down to size. But uh, when, she, when she came uh, to town for the Tony Awards recently, I thought it was worth the risk and persuaded her to join us tonight. Th this is a real thrill for me. Will you welcome Eve Arden? <laughs> You're very Gee. sweet to let me sit here, you know. I am? Where yeah. is that? Well, not that I'm like Claudette Colbert. I didn't, don't tear down sets to get this side of my face on the camera. <laughs> but on the other one, something strange happens on camera, kind of, you know. You know and it, I've always hated it. Can I check it. this side? No, it's three quarters, really. Oh, it's three That's quarters. That will give me a fright, is it? Yes. Well, I must say it doesn't look bad for me here, but then... Well, I'm happy to be here. I would say that anyway, I suppose. <laughs> uh, did, did you cringe a little bit hearing the phrase our Miss Brooks too many times in the introduction? Uh, no, I cringed hearing vintage. <laughs> <laughs> you that think I said vintage? Uh, I was saying advantage. Oh, uh, all right. Right here. I'll uh, forgive you anyway. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I said vintage, but uh, did, did you mu did, do much radio before our Miss Brooks? Uh, I did some, yes, which I prefer to forget. Yeah. I did some when I was on Broadway in the Schubert version of the Ziegfeld Follies. And, uh, I didn't know there was a Schubert version. Yeah, oh, two yeah. Schubert versions. Oh, were there? Yes. Yeah. Well, in fact, that's how I got into them, because Lee Schubert saw me in a review on the coast. Mm -hmm. And I had done straight plays up to that point. And he signed me for the Follies. God. And I had my name on the south side of the Winter Garden Theater. <laughs> oh, your name looks better on that side than uh, there. Well, than the other it side. fit better, I, I think, think, yes. Yes. Well, those were vintage. Whoops, ah. years, I almost said. <laughs> When, when was the last Follies? Oh, there was a revival a few, some years back. But well, I mean, how, how long did the Follies last? The, the I don't know. The, the, the actual ones, because yeah, Ziegfeld original. had been dead then, yeah. several years. Uh, how many years of Miss Brooks was there, all told? Well, it spread over nine years, because we did five of radio, and we went into television, and one of those five overlapped the first year of television. How weird. We you used to both? run in and do, yes. Yeah. We used to give cold readings. Of, <laughs> Only five. That surprises me. It seems like my entire... Oh, I was going to say I childhood. Was, All right. <laughs> my, my entire early years were, yes. was a, a part of was our Miss Brooke. Did, did the pace of TV bother you, making the shift? The actors always say radio was so nice and relaxed. Oh, it, it is wonderful. I love radio. But we did Miss Brooks in two and a half days. The TV two version? A, yes. We uh, wow. drove in on Friday morning. See, Brooks and I moved out to a farm. Brooks' he husband as opposed to Miss Brooks. Yes. Yeah. And that had nothing to do with it either. I no. met him after I'd been playing Miss Brooks. Okay. But we moved out to a farm because we had four children. Mm -hmm. And I would drive in Friday morning and we would run through the script and do a little cutting and get on our feet. Friday afternoon, I was back at the farm, and 
and spent Saturday and Sunday there. Gee. Monday morning, Brooks drove me in and I learned the entire script on the way in. And yeah. that afternoon, we gave a uh, performance with with the secretaries and people from other shows. Mm -hmm. Then I didn't come in till one o'clock the next day, so it really was more like two days. What? We rehearsed all afternoon, had the audience in and gave the show. Are you the kind of perfectionist that that drove crazy or did you learn to live with that kind of... No, because we had we had such good scripts, a lot of which came from radio. We were able to adapt, you see. So it was a very easy, familiar thing. And we'd mm -hmm. worked together so long and that uh, it was simple to do. W was it some but not all of the same people? Gail Gordon, of course. But Well, uh, they were all the same, yeah. except for Jeff Chandler, who was my first Mr. Boynton on radio. He Did you won. know that? No, yes. I've... And Jeff was so sweet, he wanted to go into television with us. But he was becoming a big movie star at that time. And besides, he was much too macho, you know, for Mr. Boynton. But his voice was right. His the, voice the was marvelous. He could yeah. vocally do it. Yeah. You are a cult heroine because of that show. <laughs> and uh, Have you run into it's that? Amazing. Oh, I finally gave up, yeah. you know, because... Having been an actress and done many, many kinds of things, dramas and what have you, I, I love Miss Brooks, but I thought now I go on. Well, <laughs> I can't walk down the street anywhere in Europe or here. I'm mob. First comes Miss Brooks, then mothers-in-law. Uh -huh. And then someone will say, oh, I loved you in M Mildred Pierce or Stage Door. And, uh, so you were typed as Miss Brooks in a way that did did that did that hurt professionally too? Did they well, tend I think to not did. think of you for parts you wanted? Yes, it did yeah. for a long while. But my ambition, if I had some, was to be a stage star in New York with a play that I made, like Judy Holiday in Born Yesterday, you know. Mm -hmm. And finally, one some one day, some actor said to me, "Look, stop griping." He said. You could have done a play for five years in New York, and not as many people would see you and love you as have you've oh, by far. gathered together by in these yep. years. So I finally gave up and said, yeah. fine. <laughs> There's no reason you can't do a play, or you can't do those things now. Uh, no. My husband keeps suggesting. I think he'd like me to come back and... and yeah. do a play and but we go out and do plays in Chicago and mm -hmm. any place we feel like for yeah. as many weeks as we like then we go home to California and see if our two dogs are still speaking to us <laughs> <laughs> talking dogs yes yeah.